And when, speaking of vacations, we're taking off and we're going back to the river right now. We are leaving uh, hopefully tomorrow morning and going to do jet boat stuff again. Alrighty guys, we made it. Getting ready to launch. Go out for the day. This week we are doing some regular household stuff. We're gonna to get to changing the oil on the daily. And then we are pulling transmission on FJ. That's coming out today. We have to disassemble it. And we are going to mail off the first gear, the synchro deal inside, and the um, little thingy with the fingers on it. That whole thing is gonna get mailed to Novak. I talked to them today and they said, ship it on up, 120 bucks. And they'll send it back to me, perfect. So that's what we're doing today. Get to do a quick oil change on this thing and we'll get the FJ back in here. Welcome back. Let's get to get in here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's see how much oil actually comes out of this thing. Oh dear, it's thin. Very, very thin. Another thing we gotta take care of is fuel filter. And of course, I've got half the right tools. Whoa, yeah, get some. Okay, 
but now that one is too short. All right, now I gotta get the tool that'll actually fit behind there, because these ones don't fit. Huh, that's kind of a poor design. My gosh, this is supposed to be an easy thing to do. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there we go. What a pain, dude. Like, why? I might as well rename this channel just wrong parts altogether or something like that. <laughs> so, like, brand new fuel filter. It looks like it's correct, you know, like, lines are correct. Yeah, the plastic thingy's got to come off, but big deal. You know, it's got the correct dealios on the side. Until you realize this one says flow needs to go this way. Right there. Flow needs to go this way. But even if you look inside this canister... Like, if you look in this canister, it's wrong. Like, I don't understand. Like, this one, you can see the end of something right there. And this one, you're looking at it, and you can see inside of the filter. Oh, I don't know what to say anymore. I cannot win for losing, man. So, like, even the brand new filter I just picked up from AutoZone. You can see right through it. How is this ever supposed to filter? Like, like... You can see the light right through it. Like I can cover the hole right here. Hole's gone, hole's there. How does this supposed to work? Like, hello, there's a hole through it. No filtration system. All right, you guys, made a trip to another parts store, auto parts store, and picked up another filter. So this is the deal here. So this is the AutoZone one, which is this guy right here. So here's the weird thing. This is a Wix number of 33889. Okay, I just picked up this one right here. It's a microguard, and it is part number 33889. <laughs> but if you look at it, it's a completely different design. This is the one that came off the car, and at least these two look identical. Like if you look in the center of this one, you can see like a chrome piece in there or like a flat piece. At least this one, you can see that piece. This filter. It's just a dark hole, and you can actually see through this one. We already kind of discussed that. But this still says out on it. Now, on this filter, it says out there also, and this one says return. Which doesn't make any sense whatsoever because this thing goes in the car like that. So, let's see if I can go get to underneath the car here. Like, so you're telling me that the fuel comes in from over here? And then like goes to these and then goes backwards to the tank. Like, I don't grasp the concept here. So like to all of my knowledge, this would be the fuel coming in and then it goes through the filter and then it goes all the way down, you know, to the front of the car. Ah, what do you know about that? Well, I should say this guy right here says out. This one says return. So how does that work? I don't get it. Like, obviously, back of car, gas tank, front of car. That's how the lines are. Back of car, you know, front of car. But yet this says out. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words here. At least this one that I just picked up looks the same and functions the same from what I can see. Um, it actually is easier to blow through, so I'm assuming the filter was not so much plugged, but getting plugged up. But it's going in, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so now bears the question, is the oil filter even going to be the right one? Or am I going to be freaking going back to the store because of it too? Man, man, man. Just a direct oil filter. That's good. So from 2018 to 2024, it's only had like five or 6,000 miles put on the car. It sits a lot. <laughs> Alrighty guys, let's get another hot rod pulled back on in. You know, the old FJ, woohoo. Nice new custom bucket seat. 
well, I'll call this a stoolie seat. Sounds about right. I'm gonna get this thing pulled back in, get the tranny pulled out of it. Has to happen. Well guys, it looks like the pan is definitely still leaking. Oil droplets there, 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 stuff like that. So, anywho, but now we gotta get the, ooh, we're missing a tranny bolt. Huh, no, no, we're not, da -da -da. it comes in from the backside. It's right there, okay. So, it looks like we're pulling a trans and transfer case today. It's actually kinda good, it means I can take it outside and pressure wash the piss out of it. But we are gonna drain fluids out of both. This one actually has a little droplet right there as it is, huh? Okay, yeah, pull drive lines. And uh, also we might be able to get the, the gear in here fixed for our speedometer. So we can actually have a speedometer. But right now, let's get to uh, pulling this good old SM420. Get this thing pulled apart and uh, cleaned up. Wow, this thing's leaking like a sieve. Get this thing pulled out. Drive lines, transmission, transfer case. Woohoo! Out. Oh boy. Well, guys, remember I've been talking about like everything on this thing is wrong? Of course, find more stuff wrong. So, like, you know, I think that's a 10 millimeter bolt, or I'm sorry, an 8 millimeter bolt in a what size hole? Oh, yeah, just stick it on in there. It'll work. You know, no biggie. It'll work. Dude, I can't freaking win for losing with this thing. It's the wrong size flange for the freaking bolts. Oh, man, this sucks. So now I'm gonna have to take the pinion flange off, weld the holes up, grind them smooth, put the drive shaft on it, center it you now, re-punch it and re-drill it the right size holes. So again, you can actually see like the half hole right here. I'm not sure if it'll pick up in the camera or not. Dang, dang that, but, but you can kind of see like a half circle right here. It's just the wrong size flange altogether. You can see it right there. And then also, <laughs> so you take the drive shaft off. I wasn't really paying attention to it and it's gonna be kind of hard because it's contrast, but the joints aren't even lined up. Kidding me? And as if it couldn't get any friggin' harder, whoever designed this like cover plate that goes against the firewall, you can't, like the motor has to come down so far because you can't back up the, sorry about that, you can't back up the transmission far enough to clear the bell housing to the firewall. Like the bell housing hits the firewall. So like up there, it hits. I can't get the dang thing out. Like you can see it right there. Just that little corner. My gosh. Does it have to be more of a pain in the butt? Like, I physically can't get it out because it hits the... Oh, I can't get it up in there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Dude, I can't win for losing, man. Ay, ay, ay. It's ridiculous. Well guys, tonight we are done. Unfortunately, I got some other stuff I gotta go take care of. We got the trans pulled, the transfer case pulled. Um, unfortunately, we are not gonna be able to uh, get it torn down tonight. Like I said, I got some other stuff I gotta take care of. Um, 
wouldn't matter anyway because all the shipping stores are already closed. So even if I got the part out, it's not like I can ship it out today. So I'll have it torn down tomorrow morning and uh, we'll get back at it then. But I mean, you can get up underneath here and you can see at least it has a center force clutch in it and stuff like that. I mean, it was a decent clutch. I've never understood though, out of all the center forces that I've dealt with, why the weights go off to one side like that. I don't understand why they do that. But hey, whatever. Maybe if one of you guys can let me know in the comments why they do this. Why do the weights always go to one side? Is it for balancing or what? I don't know. Anyway. Oh yeah, and <laughs> So I'm walking around this thing and of course you find stuff. Look at this. Now my freaking gas tank has a hole in it. Right there. You can see it's leaking all the way down all right good lord so now i gotta drop the gas tank again <laughs> so now i gotta drain it drop the gas tank again flush it and then re-weld the hole now i know for a fact when i put this thing together and i fixed the little bung that was in it and made the new strappies for it i water tested this thing for like three days and it didn't leak so i'm wondering if somebody had like like the coating on the inside's coming apart or if someone had put some silicone on it and painted it and now the gas is eating through it i don't know but go figure one more thing for me to fix so transmission will get pulled down tomorrow all right guys it's next day time to start tearing into this thing let's get the transfer case pulled off it bell housing pulled off and all the guts out of it or at least the main shaft out of it that way we can get that gear sent off to uh Novak, Novak. Good afternoon. Right. All right, guys, to all of my knowledge, there was supposed to be a coupler in here that should have just slid off. Well, I figured maybe that inside that coupler or something, those splines was a nut. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not it. I can't imagine that being it. So like, is the bearing just stuck in the housing? I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and figure this out. I can't imagine this whole thing being one solid shaft to here. Like there's gotta be a coupler in it. Huh. And now it looks like I have to buy gaskets for the transfer case, which I wasn't planning on doing. Oh my gosh. Alrighty guys, me back up. Alrighty guys, you remember that. I don't think this is right. Like the amount of slot in this. I don't think that's right. So I wonder if this has to go on further and that's why that slop is there. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Let me get this thing pulled off real quick and we'll see what happens. <sighs> Alrighty guys, I just tried to pull this ring out and like I can get it lifted up a little bit. You can see the gap back there but now it's like stuck. Now I can't get it anything past that. So I'm wondering if this thing is just screwed up and this whole ring has been spinning in here, wearing it out. Like the synchro has never worked because once it pushes on this, it just makes the whole thing spin. It never gets the gear to go the same speed. I don't know. Like I say, I'm gonna give a, a phone call to Novak right now and talk with him. I think it's still within hours. Um, I don't know, hopefully uh, we can get this fixed. I'll get back with you guys. So 
Well guys, look what else I just pulled out of the case. So I wonder if this was some type of spacer or something like that. There's another one down here. There's two of them. I don't know what these are for. Huh. I wonder. They're not snap rings. At least they don't look like snap rings. I don't think they were ever welded together or whatnot. Huh. That doesn't make any sense. And that was just laying in the bottom of the case, these two halves. I mean, the likelihood of them breaking off, like, oh, they're not exactly the same. Huh. I'll figure out that goes to also. Oh, well. Well guys, it's official. The whole first gear assembly and synchro for second gear, stuff like that, that all has to get shipped off. So we got it boxed up right here. It's gonna go to Novak. Um, unfortunately, it's the end of the week and I won't get it back till next week sometime. So this thing's kind of sitting at a standstill as far as transmission goes. And then we'll get to doing the tub today, painting all the inside of it, whatnot. I still have to build seat mounts, which obviously seats are still sitting on the bench. But uh, we'll get to that today. Um, Hopefully I can get the tub painted tonight or this afternoon, whatever, and then get it rolled outside so it's not in here in the dirt and dust. We need to pull Sammy in, start cleaning out fuel filters and fuel systems, stuff like that. So that's kind of reliable. Not saying I'm gonna tear apart the transmission yet, but I found and used one for 150 bucks. I might just go pick that up. It might be cheaper. So anyway, we're gonna be uh, getting to that thing here pretty soon. Might be on this video, it might not. But unfortunately, FJ didn't get to go off-roading this weekend. Didn't get to go off-roading today. So um, if you guys are following along with this project and whatnot, dude, I love it. I'm so happy people are returning for this. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm gonna have a bunch of other stuff coming up here pretty soon. Uh, a little bit more boat stuff. And then also I have another little adventure I wanna plan. It's gonna involve a golf cart. <laughs> so we'll see how this all pans out. But uh, until next time guys, it's kinda where we're at. See you guys in the next video.